What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? I'm about to show you guys one of my favorite apps I ever shown on this channel before. But once the Nvidia Shield TV updated to Android 8, it was removed from, from us because of the permissions. Now that we're back on Android 9 Pi, we can use this app again. But before we get started, make sure you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share the video and help somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Let's get it popping, y'all. And guys, be sure you subscribe. It's that it's real simple. All you guys gotta do on YouTube, click that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at make the box yours. Stephen Cornelius at make the box yours. Also, I'm on Instagram, guys. Steven Cornelius. I need some more followers. I don't got no followers or no no Twitters, Twitter followers. I'll be on YouTube mainly, but I'm paying more attention to them as well. And that's the app I wanted to show you guys. It's called the Floating Apps Multitasking App. And what it does is it gives you a little side menu you can click and you can go ahead and you can add some of these stuff to it like YouTube, Twitter, your launcher. This has all your apps in it. You know, and it's pretty cool. I like it. You will need something like a, a keyboard or a mouse. I don't think you necessarily need a keyboard. If you're using the controller, you can enable the mouse so you can click to over here to the left. But you can put this bar wherever you want to. So let me show you guys how to install this APK. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this using the Puffin browser. So we're going to go to apps. Let's go to get more apps. Just type in Puffin browser. And for the record, I hate this browser. I mean, it's okay, but I don't like using it. I personally use the Chrome browser. Chrome is my favorite browser for the NVIDIA Shield TV. If I couldn't use Chrome, I'd probably use uh, Firefox. Um, they're more actual browsers to me. But I understand that I, uh, a lot of my viewers, you know, I, I want to choose the easiest thing for them. So I use Puffin Browser when I'm showing you guys how to install things well new things I used to just use Chrome so we're gonna install Puffin browser let's open it up okay now we're gonna search or type URL and let's type in because we need file link. I put in my file link for you guys. I think it's HTTP colon four slash four slash www period file linked dot com or period com. All right. I'm going to pause so everybody can get that. Now I'm press enter. It's gonna bring you to file link. When you're on file link, you wanna scroll scroll all the way down to where it says download file link. So we're gonna press enter on that. We're gonna allow Puffin TV to set access photos. Okay, you can do that. All right, it started downloading. That's the one thing I don't like about Puffin e either. It doesn't tell you when your download is finished or anything like that. So you just got to wait a minute. And I pushed it again by mistake. So now I'm going to press back. And I'm going to go back. Once I press back, I'm going to go back to the start page. And now I'm going to go down to downloads. I'm going to go to APK. And I'm going to press enter here. 
for your security your phone is not secured to install unknown sources blah 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 we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna allow puffin tv to install unknown apps so we might have to push on it again now we're gonna install it let's open it up file link my code so my code is um, 88496009 I'm gonna press enter on that continue enter pin 0205 press enter this is reminding you of the live show every Tuesday some Tuesdays if I can't um, if I got some stuff going on some Tuesdays I might not be able to make it but most Tuesdays I'm on all right I'm dismiss this message here go right here I gotta put a, a picture up for you guys because I put it in my file link real quick today I was actually making a video showing you guys how to install it from Aptoid, but it seems to be kind of removed or kind of hard to find. I can find it for you guys, but I don't want you guys having complications, so I put it in the file link for you guys, but it's right in Aptoid as well. We also are using the version that I showed in the past video. I think I showed it like a year and a half ago, and it's version 3.83. The reason why we're using this version is because the newest version, even though I want to use it, it has some more categories. I'm having trouble with it. So I don't want to mess with it or, um, you know, keep on talking about this isn't the official version, the new version. And the older version is just easier for me to use. So keep it at this older version for now to I figure some stuff up out about the newest one. So we're going to download. All right, now we're going to click this uh, look play button look thing. It's going to for your security. So we're going to go to settings again. And now we're going to allow. File link. There we go. Might kick us back out. So let's find it again. We already have it downloaded. So this is the floating apps. Let's install it. Might not let me install it. Okay. I'll open it up. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to uninstall it. And I'm going to install it fresh so you guys can see everything. You know, we can be right at the same pace. So let me uninstall this real quick. Floating apps. Uninstall. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. You guys don't pay attention to me. You guys stay where you at. Oops. Uh oh, I messed up something. Maybe I should have left it alone, huh? Now, where's my file link?
So I need to get back to where you guys are at. Let me re-download it. And there we go. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. I'm not sure why I just had that problem. Because it was uninstalled. So I shouldn't have had no parsing issues. So I'm not sure why that happened, guys. But let's open it up. Let's keep the video going. And this is Welcome to Floating Apps. All right, close it up. All right, I'm gonna close this. So these are all the stuff you can put in this little sidebar. Let's click on applications. Showing floating menu. So these are the ones I like using. Let me go slow. You see the settings gear? I clicked on that. Then I click on show and floating menu. And now I can choose what uh, type of categories I want here on the side. So I like applications. I like active windows. Windows. Add note if you want to put, you know, enter a note real fast. That's good. I don't need it. Browser, I'm gonna keep over there. Calculator, I don't need, so I'm gonna unclick that. Can put a clock over there, a compass, get your contacts, um, your Facebook for you guys who like Facebook, you can put over there. Foul browser, I haven't tried that. Image viewer, so you'll get a gallery. That's pretty cool to have because there's no active gallery. On the Nvidia Shield TV, I don't know why either. Why don't they have a gallery on the Shield TV? That's crazy. But besides the point, Twitter, video player, Wi Fi manager, YouTube. You can put the uh, show active windows. Recent apps you really don't need, but you can put it on there if you don't want to click the home button twice. So, we got that all. Now, let's go take a look at also at settings. So, it's enabled already. You can choose what theme you want. If you want dark or blue, light, dark, or blue. Let's try uh, blue. I never tried that before. You can... Uh, choose your font size if you want it bigger or normal. I'm gonna stay with normal. All right, your size you can make it. Uh, let's mess with this. Nah, I like 50%. So I'm gonna move it back over. All right, 45, that's good enough. And this is some just stuff to customize how it looks. But it's that simple, guys. Um, I wouldn't update this yet. I, I need to test the newest version. Uh, I was having trouble with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys because I kept on having uh, issues with it telling me to go to the official website. So let's just stay with version 3.83 for now. And it's pretty cool. Especially because you really don't need silo launcher no more. This is for the people who really didn't feel like making widgets or stuff like that. You could just go to... Oops. Let's see if it had, probably has it in applications. No. So let's go back. 
because I want that launcher. Launcher shows you all your apps. So let me click on this. Show. Let's make sure we enable launcher. Let's click on launcher. Okay. So, Notcha shows you all your apps. And that's definitely cool. Because this even shows the um, the apps that do, do not have lean back widgets. It shows them as well. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Also, you will need some type of keyboard mouse because you got to slide it over and enable it so let me know which if you guys th think uh what you guys think about this let me know if you guys remember me doing a video about this back in the past and if you guys installed it and missed it the reason why we're able to have it now is because if you go to settings which is why i told you guys android's not nine i'm liking it so far i know people are having problems but it was a great update for us to have you know it it brought back our permissions so now we got the permissions back so we got special app s access and we can uh, display over other apps again so that's nice and if it asks you to set the permission you just go to do that go to special app access display over other apps it shouldn't ask you though and allow floating apps so we got some permissions back and that's cool so let me know what you guys think about it uh, like the videos this helped you share the video and help somebody else and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad and tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours thanks for watching guys